Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a review video on a product I've been waiting for so patiently, and it's a new foundation from a brand that is brand new at Walmart, and you guys know me. I love when I can discover like a new drugstore brand. I love drugstore products. So when I saw that this new brand came out at Walmart, I was so excited. And the thing about it was though, is they had everything except foundations. And I was like waiting and waiting and waiting for the foundations to come out and they wouldn't come out. And I thought that maybe my Walmart was just sold out, but I looked online and they didn't have any online either. So I just, um, came to the conclusion that they hadn't come out with them yet, but I went to Walmart today and I'm so glad I did. I had to buy some shoes for my daughters and they had the foundations and I was like, score. This is the Koki Professional Skin Perfect HD Foundation and it looks like this. I got two colors. I got 30 warm and 20 warm. Now the cool thing about this line is that it comes in like 10 warm, 10 cool. 20 warm and 20 cool, 30 warm and 30 cool. So you can basically pick your shade based on whether you're cool or warm. I have a whole video about whether or not, or how to decide whether or not you're cool or warm. I will link that video down below. It's a pretty old video, but it still has really great information in it. The reason I got warm is because in L'Oreal True Match, I always bought the warm shades and they always worked well for me. I feel like I'm kind of neutral, um, but I always feel like the cool ones look too cool for me. So I got warm. So the packaging is really nice. It's a glass bottle and it's kind of like a frosted bottle. And then it has this really, really nice pump at the top. So the packaging is phenomenal. And I'm gonna put all the information right here for this foundation, like I always do in every video. So these are the two colors. This is the 20, this is the 30. There is absolutely no scent to this. None, zero scent, which is nice. Oh wow, the 20 actually matches me almost perfectly. Look at that, this is the 30. Yeah, 30 is here, too dark. I would definitely say the 20 is like perfect match for me, which I'm very happy about because I'll be able to use the 30 when I get a tan this summer. So that actually works out perfectly. So I'm gonna use the 20. Um, I would say the consistency is a mixture between liquidy and thick, which I don't mind. I tend to prefer thicker foundations because they tend to be better coverage. At least I feel like they tend to be better coverage. So this is about right between liquidy and thick, which is totally fine by me. So I got the Koki So Matte Mattifying Primer as well. I'm gonna try this with it. Same brand and it's a matte primer. It just has a little squeeze nozzle, it looks like this. I love the packaging of these Koki products because they're um, striped, black and white striped. I think it's so cute, it reminds me of Sephora. So it's kind of a purple tint and it's extremely smooth. It almost dries like to powder. It has like that silicone-y feel. It almost has like a cream to powder finish. Really soft. This makes your skin so soft, oh my gosh. So here it is on the sponge. This is literally perfect match, like perfect match. I almost can't even tell how good the coverage is because it is such perfect match for me. So it covered up my aging freckles pretty well. Um, so that's awesome. I feel like the coverage is probably medium. Medium coverage, it's not overly heavy. It definitely evens out my skin tone nicely. From what I can tell right now, it looks like it's gonna be a good like everyday foundation. You know what I mean? Like one of those foundations that you can wear every day, nothing too, too heavy, nothing too, too light, just a nice middle ground, which I appreciate. It comes out of this pump really easily too, like the perfect amount. Like I have a little bit of redness right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like a pimple, um, kind of like an underground type of pimple and it doesn't cover the redness up completely. But it definitely looks really nice on the skin. Honestly, I love this right now. And it might have to do with the primer that I used. That's why it's giving me this really nice matte finish. It's definitely not like a glowy foundation at all. So I also have the Be Bright concealers from their line as well. I have this yellow one and also this skin tone one. This one is in yellow and this one is in light. And I've actually used these before. This isn't a first impression of these, but I usually do a little bit of yellow first. I'm just gonna blend that out. And you guys will be able to see how nicely this just blends away the dark circles. And it doesn't leave like a really strong yellow cast either, which I like because Sometimes I feel like banana powder on light skinned people, you can see that cast of yellow and it doesn't look good. So 
This I like because the cast of yellow isn't noticeable really. But once I have this blended, I just take a little bit of the light one that's just more skin tone and I do a couple dots of that. You can also use it as a highlight if you want to bring it down here. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like right now, and this is with no other makeup on. One thing that I can say for sure is this is incredibly matte. Now, I don't know if it's just because I use this, which is a mattifying primer. You might be able to get a little bit more glow without the mattifying primer. I personally don't mind matte, the matte look, um, just because I don't like my oil popping through like later throughout the day. So I feel like if I start matte, I have less oil later in the day. So if you like a little bit more glow, you could probably skip this primer and you might be able to get just a little bit more glow or use less powder. Um, I would have to say I love the way that this looks. I think it looks amazing. Like I said, it's about medium coverage, medium, maybe a little bit higher than medium coverage. Um, so I feel like it's a good everyday foundation. That's my thoughts right now. I'm gonna let you guys know later if it sinks into my wrinkles and fine lines because I definitely have some fine lines here. I have one here and I have I get a little bit right here as well so I will let you guys know if it sinks into those fine lines at all um, but right now I am pretty happy with the look of it I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on and let you guys know what I think okay guys so it's been about four hours since I applied my foundation and I have to say I am extremely impressed by the staying power so far it is completely in place. I haven't had to reapply powder or blotch or anything like that. Um, I haven't done much yet today. I've been filming and stuff today, but I'm about to go pick up my girls and run some errands and stuff like that. So we'll see, you know, later on. But I think the one mistake that I made with this foundation at first was I applied too much powder. I feel like because this was such a uh, matte foundation and because it dried so quickly to the skin, like you know how sometimes some foundations are really like glowy like they kind of have that wet feel when you apply it and you have to wait longer for it to dry this one dried matte very quickly and so i feel like because of that i didn't need as much powder and because i put too much powder on it was a little bit on the dry almost too matte side so i think next time i wear this i'll just use less powder and i will be good to go which honestly is a good thing i mean less powder is better so um that was my first mistake the other thing that i would have to say probably too is this probably wouldn't be the best foundation for maybe somebody with dry skin um i have like like kind of normal skin it's not really too dry not really too oily so I can kind of get away with it but if you have extremely dry skin this may be a little iffy for you you could try it but I have a feeling that dry skinned people may have some problems with this just because it is so matte especially right off the bat but so far so good I love the way that it looks on my skin I think that it looks extremely good not shiny at all not oily at all uh, so two thumbs up so far and I will definitely check in in a little while. It's about three hours after my last check-in and I was planting flowers like I was going all out in the sun It was hot and my foundation still looks amazing. I am very very impressed um, I'm gonna check in one more time probably around like eight o'clock or nine or something like that, but This looks really good and this is natural light I mean look at that All right guys, so this is my final check-in. It's about 7.30, so I've had this foundation on for seven, about eight and a half hours, which is pretty good. And I have to say that this foundation did amazing. I did like, I planted flowers outside. It was super, super hot outside. And I was really, really surprised that the foundation lasted through all of that. And the thing that I really liked a lot about this is it didn't um, separate on my nose. Cause usually right on this area is where I get some separation or kind of where it starts wearing off a little bit. And I didn't notice any um, wear right here on my nose, which was amazing. And I also didn't get very oily, which is another really, really great thing. And I think it's because the foundation was so matte right when I put it on that it really controlled my oil throughout the day. And that might have something to do with the primer and the foundation together. So if you try this foundation and you're not getting the uh, qualities that I described in this video, then you might want to try it with the primer as well because the primer may have made a little bit of a difference with how the foundation wore for me, but um, I really, really liked it. I thought it was amazing and I'll definitely be using this. If my opinions change at all, I'll be sure to tell you guys and I will also put this in any future favorites videos if I do continue to use it, but right now I would definitely give it like almost five stars like this is a really great foundation especially for the price and especially that it's so easily accessible it's at walmart which is amazing so two thumbs up for this foundation i have i am loving it and i think it's gonna be a winner for me so 
thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. And I think that's it guys, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye!